And Rob Parker, did you hear the breaking news? Oh, my God. I, I can't believe it, Chris. I, I, I cannot believe it. Yeah, Willie Mays passed away peacefully at the age of 93. And, uh, Chris, I mean, look, that that's, that's a long, wonderful life he's had. And he went peacefully, according to reports. And uh, that's what you all you can ask, but yeah, he'll he's, you know, my my greatest. Obviously, I didn't see him play. Um, I think I was like a little baby. He retired in seventy three. I was a young boy. I was five at the time. Um, but my biggest recollections, I did have a Willie Mays baseball card that I wish I hadn't trampled on and played little baseball games with with my friends, and you know what I mean. It, it, it's in terrible shape. Sure. Um, but my father, he was my father's like favorite player. My father thought he was the best player he'd ever seen. And so that was, those were my, that's mainly how I knew about Willie Mays was just through my father being such a fan of his. Chris, it's, Willie Mays was an all-time great. Obviously he could do everything. He was a great center fielder. We've seen that catch, Chris. Yep. In center field over his shoulder, Willie, May, Willie Mays basket catch. Uh, Willie Mays was a great hitter, home run hitter. He could steal bases. He was the five tool guy, Chris. Uh, and he had and, fifty one and fifty two homers in a season. That's yeah, huge. And I think he had six sixty. Is that the number six sixty? Yeah, six sixty. Six hundred and sixty home well runs. Over three thousand hits. Yes, he had all the numbers. He was yep. uh, for a lot of people. Over he was three hundred for a career. Three hundred. Yeah, and he played twenty four All Star games. Chris twenty four. Yep. yep. Uh, only and Hank he only Aaron had more twenty five seasons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did. Right. Really? I told you that was the, when they used to have two All Star games. <laughs> right. Right. But but. But the, the sad part for me is I'm down here in Birmingham, Alabama, and it was kind of, we were kind of bummed out that Willie couldn't make it here because this was about Willie Mays, Chris. Well, that's where he started he, his career. He He's from Alabama. He played for the Black Barons of the Negro League. Birmingham Black Barons, yep. Yep. And this was a tribute to him. They got stuff tomorrow from... Uh, the the the, the uh, Hall of Fame, Chris Willie uh, Willie Mays' plaque was brought from the Hall of Fame here, so that the fans could get a chance to look at it and see it for themselves. And the Louisville Slugger Museum brought bats and stuff that he used in official games. And this was supposed to be a showering and uh uh a tribute. To the Negro Leagues, of course, but Willie Mays. Right. And on the eve of this that he dies, I knew it was going to be hard for him to try to make it. He's 93, Chris. He probably couldn't travel across the country to get here. So I got that. He spoke yesterday, uh, or at least a couple days ago, there was quotes from the San Francisco Chronicle, you know, saying he couldn't make it, he couldn't wait to watch the game. And then for him not to see a major league game played, in the oldest stadium, you know, a stadium that housed the Negro Leagues, Chris. Oh, my goodness gracious. I, I am really bummed out, A, that we lost such an iconic player, person, and then just for So this is going to be a total tribute to Willie Mays as we go forward here in Birmingham tomorrow and Thursday with the game. And, of course, the Giants are one of the teams playing against the Cardinals. That's his, Willie Mays' team, the uh, New York Giants first, and then the San Francisco Giants. Wow. Yeah. Um, I do think, look, like you said, it's unfortunate in a sense of, you know, with everything that's set up down in Birmingham. But also, they will be able to celebrate Willie. You know, And his I mean? life. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where, I mean, what better place than where he started his career playing for, as you said, the Birmingham Black Barons of the Na- Negro American League. Um, so, yeah, it's it's just sad. But, again, Rob, I mean, we all have to die. And if you can live to be 93 and go peacefully, that's about all you can have. No, to, I, 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 I know, get it. And obviously it's... had a more a fruitful life, to say the least. Um, was an awesome, awesome baseball player. Um 
And, you know, just a great, great, I mean, he's a legend. He is a, it, it doesn't get any more legendary than Willie Mays, Rob. No, I mean, it, it really doesn't. The Say Hey Kid, you know, yep. Chris, in New York, when New York had three baseball teams, the New York Giants, the Yankees, and the Brooklyn Dodgers, and they had three great center fielders. They even made a song, Willie Mickey and the Duke. And you see Willie first. Mickey Mantle, of course, is a great center fielder, great player. Yep. And Duke Schneider for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Yep. Willie yep. Mickey and the Duke, three great center fielders who played in New York at the same time on three different teams. Uh, and Willie Mays was that guy. He, re- he yeah. really, really was. And I got to see him, Chris, at the end where he's playing left field for the Mets. You know, he played for the Mets in 1973 when they lost yep. the World Series to the Oakland A's. That was his last year, yeah. Yeah, he was not the same player. I think he came to the Mets in 72 and played there, 72 yep. and 73. Am I right? You got the yes. years yep. up? Yeah, yep. 72 and 73. And he wasn't the same player. You know, he was at the end of his career. 42 but, uh, years old at the end. Yeah, still out there, know. yeah. But playing left field, he could never be playing center field at 42. Right. Right. But, uh, man, I, I just... I, I just like the timing of it. I'm just I'm I'm a little thrown off. I really am. I, I mean I know he's 93, but just right on the edge of this. But you're right, Chris. This will be an opportunity for baseball, and baseball is one. The one thing about baseball is that they do celebrate the past. Like that is one thing about baseball. Like they they do celebrate the past players and uh, the history of the game, and it's a big yep. part of the sport, and that's why numbers are so important to people more so than any other sport. When you talk about certain numbers that are iconic, uh, baseball does that. Um, yeah, and Willie Mays, Rob, was – I mean, he did everything as on the baseball field. Like you said, tremendous fielder out in center field, hit for average, like we talked about his career, over 300, 301, and also hit for power – hit 50 or more home runs twice, and stole bases. He led the league in steals four times. Like, he did it all, Rob. And you rarely see that combination in in a player today. I'm not saying you, it's never done. Mookie Betts hits, you know, a good number of home runs and obviously hits for average and stuff like that. But – you don't always see that combination, Rob, of great power and hitting for average. And that's what you got with Willie Mays. And in addition to tremendous defense and some stolen bases. Like, oh, God. It's amazing. What a, what, a, what a tremendous player. One of the iconic players. One of the top. When you look at it, I mean, there's always Hank Aaron. It was like your dad. Willie Mays was his guy. It was Hank Aaron and Willie Mays, and they were, yeah. you know, the, go look at their numbers. Hank Aaron went to 25 All-Star games. Willie Mays went to 24. Hank Aaron, uh, with the, you know, had the home run uh, record, Chris, uh, and uh, Willie Mays had 660, and they both battled over 300. They yep. both had 3,000 hits. When you look at their careers, it's incredible and they both played in the Negro Leagues, Chris, before they went to the major leagues, both of them. They, yep. they are, their careers are very um, ve- very similar, and they had tremendous careers, and now we've lost we lost Hank, and now we've lost Willie Mays. And, and you're right. I mean, 93 and going peacefully and not being terribly sick for a long time or what, you know, what it could be um, – makes it a little bit easier to deal with as far as uh, uh, Willie Mays going peacefully. But what news? My goodness gracious. Well, you know, Rob, you and I, I mean, not, we're not that we're that old, but we're of the age where, you know, and we've already seen many uh, of our heroes pass away. And it, you feel strange when it ha- starts happening. Like, man, it feels like everybody's, you know, dying, but it's just life. It's the circle of life. But it doesn't make it any uh, easier or less stunning when all these things start happening. No, it doesn't. Um, but it does It does jolt you, Chris. Even though it's yep. a part of life and we see a lot of people pass, there's certain people who pass and it just kind of, you know, shakes you a little bit, doesn't it? Just just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 
Yeah. I mean, and yeah. a lot of people die. Uh, you know, uh, everybody I, you know, dies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, everybody. Um, or but like I, Chicken I, George said, everybody going to die. Yeah, there's me? no doubt about it. Um, <laughs> you want to weigh in what he meant to you, what your recollections of him were, anything you want to say about Willie Mays. Absolutely. Damon in Louisville, let's start with you. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. You have words for the late, great Willie Mays. Yeah, what's up, fellas? Hey. hey. What's up? Willie Mays was my grandfather's favorite player. And uh, I'm 50 years old, so, you know, guys like us that are 50 and older, we grew up, Willie Mays was one of our heroes. You right. know, so in my home uh, growing up, Willie Mays was on uh, baseball Mount Rushmore. You know, so I want to say my condolences to uh, his family and fans and stuff. And uh, that that's about it. Okay. No, All I right. get it. Thank you, brother. Yeah. No, no doubt about it. People who grew up, Willie Mays was a part of that. And you know that, Chris, the uh, black culture and, and people when – because it's the whole color barrier thing. You know, when they broke, when Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier, you know, black people flocked to ballparks to be able to see black players play. It was, oh, yeah. it was, a, it was a big deal. It was, it was really a big deal. It changed the way uh, the country – people felt in the country by seeing black players in the major leagues. It really did. No, no. Uh, Will in Nashville, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Will? What's up, boys? Hey, uh, I, uh, I'm i 30 years old. Never saw Willie Mays play. Um, but hearing you guys talk about hitting for power, hitting for average, stealing bases, good glove in the outfield. I'm a brave fan. I, my mind goes to – Unfortunately, injured right now, Ronald Acuna Jr. Mm-hmm. I was curious. I was curious what you guys thought about that comparison. I'll hang up and listen. Thanks. Yep, um, and that that's a fair comparison, Chris. Who's playing now? Yeah, Ronald no, Acuna, Acuna Jr. Is, does is everything. Incredible. He does all that. Absolutely. Stolen bases, hits for power, average. I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah. big time. Yeah. Um, thanks for the call. Eight seven seven ninety nine on Fox. If anybody else wants to chime in, and the other thing too. Um, I had Chris, let me tell you my brush with greatness and Willie Mays. I was 22 years old. A lot of stuff happened when I was 22, just starting out the Daily News, Chris. Yep. Um, and back then they had a lot of press conferences in New York. I was a general assignment reporter. So I would show up to the office in the morning, Chris, and they would throw one or two stories at you. You know what I mean? Hey, Rob. Write this. Here's a press release that came in. Write a you know write a story. Yep. Or there's a press conference at the Waldorf Astoria. Rob, go down and uh, and whatever. And I remember it was USA Today was announcing the All Star ballot, and they had former great players. And Willie Mays was like one of the uh, ambassadors for the voting, Chris, for the baseball All Star game. And that was wow. my first time in going down and meeting this iconic figure, Willie Mays. Wow. And I went down, and Chris, what I was looking for from Willie Mays was the big hot story at that time, and this is like 1986, was the lack of black managers. And I remember, you know, being a little nervous going up there. Here I am asking Willie Mays a question and whatnot. But that was my, that was my, and then I, you know, saw him a few other times after that. But the first time I ever met him was uh, 1986. I was 22 years old. Wow. Wow. No, he, I mean, like you said, he was a legend, living legend uh, during a time when you and I were growing up. Yep. And um, as you said, I mean, it wasn't, you know, that wasn't, I mean, that was, of course, 40 years roughly when you started covering the, right, right. the league. But, I mean, as kids, it was... 30 some odd years after, you know, the the color barrier was broken. Um but black athletes back then were even bigger, Rob. Just I mean they're big huge now. But right. you know what I mean? Like you said, no what back they then meant it, for black I agree culture. I agree Chris, 100%. Yeah. You you 100% right cuz there weren't a lot of other CEOs and all kinds of other people it was entertainers right. and athletes. Were many all, politicians? No, it was entertainment, entertainers and athletes. We got a couple yep. more people want to jump in, but you're right about that. 
like where they where they stood out in the black community was huge. Yeah, had a big shadow. Sean yep. in uh, Oregon, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Sean? Hey, the uh, baseball world's in, in mourning right now, brother. I no wear doubt. A yep. Dodgers hat. I wear a Dodgers hat with embroidered forty two. But most of America recognizes Willie Mays as being the say hey kid, the best of all time. There's two people we look up to all my life. It was Babe Ruth and Willie Mays. Mm. No, nope. no, nope. it's it's he was on that level, yes. Big time. He was one of the few people that would Thanks, be Sean. mentioned with Babe Ruth. Have a great right? day, yep. guys. Yep, appreciate yep. it. Thank you. Thank How about Dan in San Diego? You're on the odd couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Dan? Hey gentlemen, and this this really tears me apart. When I was four years old, and my dad was in the Navy, and we were stationed in Brooklyn. The first game he took me to was the Polo Grounds, and that's true. And I remember I, that's where I was exposed to Willie Mays. And then we came to San Diego. I came a Giants fan, and we used to go to LA and watch the Giants and Dodgers all the time. To me, Willie Mays was the greatest all-around player in the history of baseball. And if he would have not played at Candle Park, he would have hit eight home runs. Yeah, Candlestick Chris won the great park. You know, thanks thanks for the call, Dan. Because of the swirling winds and whatnot, it wasn't a great hitter's park, Candlestick Park. Right, right. So and that still, did. And he right. still hit 660 home right. runs. I mean, you can definitely think, I mean, who knows how many he would have hit right. if he wasn't playing in Candlestick. You're yeah, that, was, right. that wasn't a great hitter's park. Uh, TJ yeah. in Nashville, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, TJ? Rob, what's up, bro? Hey, hey. Hey, I remember you in Detroit back in the <laughs> early 90s. You were on the local radio station. You should have right. your braces. You I, I your did. Braces. That was back when I was with Stoney. <laughs> That's uh, back in the old days. Yeah. That's funny. I want to tell you, dude, uh, I'm glad I found this station. It took me a while to try to get through. I remember you. I remember seeing you on TV. Dude, you're my Willie Mays of Sport Talk. Man, mm. that, wow. Thank you, That's TJ. I'm 50, 59 years old. I didn't really see him play, but I've seen all of his plays. You're my Willie Mays of Sports. My man, I appreciate you. Thank you. But I remember real. you from Detroit, and I love you, bro. Thank you, my man. Thanks, TJ. Thanks for the support of the Odd Couple here, yes. Fox Sports Radio. And uh, man, um, well, it's tough. All right.